Oh yeah. Uh what is kung fu? See, people have this misconception. Whenever you say kung fu, they go, "Whoa!" And they make this, you know, these funky body uh, you know, movements, you know, like what they've seen on TV and on movies and what they think it is. But do you really know what it is? In all actuality, and most most likely, you practice Kung Fu already. Because you don't know what it really means. What it means, is, it's got multiple definitions. But I'll give you my, the two that you know I, I utilize the most. Time plus energy. Whatever... You dedicate time and energy to, okay, is Kung Fu. But the best definition, I think, is just called skilled practice, okay? Any professional practices or they utilize skilled practice. If you're a foreman, you definitely... You're so good at your job that you actually walk around and tell everyone else how to do theirs. That, my friend, is skilled practice. If you know exactly what is said and which part of the Bible, which book, where it's at, you put the time and energy into it, and you're skilled at it now, that you can just flip-flop all the way through. You can go right to it. You know where you're at. That, my friend, is a form of skilled practice. Listen, a doctor, a surgeon... He practices medicine, okay? He practices Kung Fu. It means skilled practice. When they say everything is Kung Fu, they're not lying. It is wax on, wax off. I mean, look, that is the truth. You know, uh, Bruce Lee, man, said it great. He said, what? You think you need to be a particular religion to practice Kung Fu? He goes, since the beginning, since it first started being practiced in Asia... He goes, there has been five different religions that have come and gone since it started. And all these different religions still practice Kung Fu. So, Kung Fu has no religious attachments to it. Though, some religious things get attached to it to some extent. And Kung Fu is a broad umbrella term. And it just, it's like a a woodcutter practices Kung Fu. Uh, An electrician he practices Kung Fu. Uh, a roofer practices Kung Fu. Uh, landscaper practices Kung Fu. Uh, a person who cuts trees practices Kung Fu. Uh, a teacher practices Kung Fu. Uh, so people get really got this major, major, major misconception. All right, now when I say martial arts, though it's Kung Fu, it's martial arts. It pertains to boxing, and it, t- it pertains to wrestling. It pertains to fighting arts, okay? I practice the fighting arts, but even though trickle-down effect, it helps me do everything that I do better because I practice skillfully. I do more. I don't work harder. I work smarter, and this is through just training, discipline, uh, learning, exploring, uh, studying. Just like the 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 word gung ho comes from the Chinese. Everyone assumes that means you're eager to shoot someone. But in all actuality, in the beginning, what it meant, it's you're eager to work together with other people. We should all be gung ho about what we do. We should be quick to work with others who are eager to work as well i mean we shouldn't turn people away you know what i'm saying you should just teach them skilled practice so they can learn for themselves how to do things better it's what it's all about i mean there is this fucking discrimination going on out here i mean it's so it's just it's just this it's willie lynch man you're falling right for your willie lynching man you can't let it go can you uh I mean, I can understand that, okay? Uh, We've all been programmed, brainwashed, lied to, deceived, 
all wound up and sent off in the wrong direction. Uh, so, I mean, that's why I say it's not... Learning isn't the hard part. Learning is easy. It's unlearning the bad things that you have been uh, exposed to your entire life is what's hard. The less you have to unlearn, the easier it is to learn things. This is another understanding that comes from Kung Fu. Or that comes from the Eastern philosophy. I mean, this it's I mean, listen, philosophy alone isn't that isn't salvation, okay? I mean, look, when you just that's what the Greeks did. They they were philosophers, they were Gnostics, they thought uh, what did they say? What uh, what the the Africans called gods? We mistakenly called philosophy. Uh, so I mean, there's a, a, an understanding there. Uh, but it it's like. It's like anything that is helpful or useful uh, to anything, man. Why why abandon it? Why uh, overlook it or even attack it? You know what I'm saying? Just because uh, you're ignorant of the true understanding, uh, don't knock the people who are not. You know what I'm saying? I'm mean, Listen, uh, this is my belief on Buddhism. Buddhism is the same as Muslims. It's humanism. It, it basically, it's self-righteousness will be your salvation, is what the Buddhists say. I mean, even though some of their practices are right, but the end practice is wrong. It, it, instead of edifying God, our creator, you edify yourself and forget God and deny the power thereof. You know what I'm saying? And so I can agree there. And listen, I'm not knocking Buddhists altogether. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they have some neat understandings. But, you know, this is how I see it. Just like I see the Muslims aren't uh, very religious at all. It's it's, it's humanism. And, I mean, they're very religious, actually. It's the spiritual aspect is, is skewed. Uh... Because they uh, they don't even they don't even know this. I mean, in in the Muslims also uh, had you know uh, interaction with you know the people from India and China in, in ancient times. You know, and people are kind of they don't have their world history. They don't see how things spread and moved around and went back around and rotated and cycled through the earth. Because they did, and many times around, it's just you know antiquity is so. It's so dumbed down what we've been taught from the beginning. So it's that much harder to get it now because you, you got you got layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of onion that you have to peel through to get back to where you went off the course. That's why uh, it, some of these things are so offensive to people because they've learned wrong for so long that they can't they can't accept it it's all they know now that's why it's almost like look you have to forget everything you know before you can really truly have an awakening or at least you have to reconsider what you thought you knew and just take a second look make sure uh it's accurate you know what i'm saying make sure it's uh cuz i mean you could be come very you could skill practice the wrong things even there, you know, so I mean, it's not negative or positive, you know what I'm saying, it can go either way, like, uh, you know, a cocaine drug lord, he practices kung fu, but he just practices a greedy, bad, evil, he he's profits from corruption, and as people do that, I mean, our whole system profits from corruption, and they're not gonna, they're not gonna change it, rarely does, never does a person uh, once they attain power, do they give it up? It's always taken from them. That's why all the popes always killed the previous popes, or the godfathers always killed the previous godfathers so they can take his place. That's how you can tell uh, who's uh, righteous and who's uh, 
not righteous, I mean, basically, by their deeds. If this institution has always been a cutthroat, murderous organization, I mean, if it was in the beginning, why would it be any different now? I mean, just take that into consideration. Like I said, I just wanted to uh, spread some light on this subject. Because, I mean, people are, are, are capitalizing on the dark shroud and the, the, the shroud of ignorance around it. People who really don't know are th acting like they're a scholar, an expert on the situation. Or just because they found one circumstance where it might fit the the you know the their uh their uh might fit for their situation they can use it you know uh in a certain way to make a certain thing that is fits what they want to to portray it as 